detectives solve crimes? How do they catch the criminal who has committed the crime and how do they know they have the correct person? Well, they do this through a science called forensic science. Forensic science is a science that is applied to criminal and civil law. It involves solving mysteries by using clues or evidence that has been collected at the crime scene. To ensure that the evidence is not destroyed, crime scene investigators first secure the area by putting out that caution tape to make sure that no one goes in and destroys the evidence. Next, they photograph and document the area. They collect trace materials such as fiber, soil, grass, and then they collect DNA evidence by swabbing areas of likely contact, such as blood or bodily fluids. They collect other items that may have DNA such as hair, cups, straws, and other materials. They locate and collect latent fingerprints. Evidence collected at the crime scene such as fingerprints, blood, it could be tissue, clothing, it could be someone's toothbrush or hairbrush. They collect all this evidence and then they take it to the forensic laboratory where forensic scientists work together analyzing data to help solve the mystery of the crime. Well, today I'm going to introduce you to a forensic scientist named Gina Presley. If you're interested in learning more about forensic science and a forensic scientist, then stay tuned for this video. Gina Presley was born in 1985. As a young girl, she had a love and passion for science and she loved engineering. She would attend summer camp every summer so that she could feel that love of science. And in school, she would participate in science fair projects. And in fifth grade, she won first place. After high school, she attended Spelman College where she uh, did research in a laboratory on frogs to see what would be the effects of dopamine on the frog's brain. And then in 2007, she earned her degree in biology. After earning her degree in biology, she moved to New York and she became National Institute of Health Scholar, where she worked at Mount Sinai School of Medicine. In 2008, CSI became one of the most popular shows on TV. Oh, I remember watching that show so many times, looking at crime scenes and how they use all the uh, technology to solve the crimes and it just became so hyped up and everybody was excited to see it. Well, universities and colleges began to offer graduate programs in forensic science. So in 2008, Miss Presley, she enrolled at the University of Alabama, Birmingham in forensic science. There, she began to study the effectiveness of cleaning methods in order to collect DNA. So exactly what is DNA? DNA is the material that carries all the information about how a living thing will look and function. For instance, DNA in humans determines such things as what color the eyes are and how the lungs work. Each piece of information is carried on a different section of the DNA. DNA is short for deoxyribonucleic acid. It is in every cell of every living thing. DNA is found in structures of the cells called chromosomes. Both DNA and chromosomes are tiny. Scientists need to use very powerful microscopes to see them. After earning her master's degree, 
Ms. Presley began working for the Department of Alabama Forensic Sciences in Biology. As a forensic scientist, she studies biological stains for DNA and she's also an expert witness at trials where she presents the evidence that she has collected in the laboratory. Ms. Presley is the first African-American woman to be promoted as Huntsville's regional DNA technical leader. I'm so glad that I had a chance to introduce to you Gina Presley and I learned about Gina Presley from a book written by Kimberly, Dr. Kimberly Pelham, Black Women in Science. I will leave a link to Amazon if you're interested in ordering this book. I'm going to highlight some other African American scientists throughout the year from this book. Now back to forensic science. We're going to continue to learn about forensic science. I'm going to be doing lesson plans for teachers. I'm going to do hands-on activities for students at home learning or at school. I hope you enjoyed this video today and I'm so glad that you came to Michelle Gay Science Teacher Classroom today and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.